Let's say you're writing an application that calls out to a web API and that web API crashes. Find out how you can make your application not crash by writing some code with Copilot. All right, so this is the web application that we're gonna make not crash. It has a bunch of pizza menus on it. And what this does, we have one web application calling out to a web API that returns, well, pizzas. And when I go over here and I keep on clicking refresh, it refreshes pizzas just fine. But what I wanted to do now is go through and introduce an error into my web API that returns the menu of pizzas. So right here, as you can see, I have just a minimal web API that has returning pizzas. And so what I'm going to do here is introduce, using some copilot to, to help me out, an error. So I'm gonna type in a comment, and I'm just gonna say, generate a random number between one and two. Because I can never remember how to use the random number generator. All right, and it doesn't remember for me. Between one and two. Let's see if it does it now. All right, so how about we just do var random equals new random and see if it does the here. All right, so now we have it. Then if random number is one, I'm gonna want to return a 503 error. So all I'm doing now is setting up my web API so it returns an error every time that it's a random number generator is number one. And if it comes back with number two, we're gonna return good. So just setting things up and the copilot helped me out writing that by me prompting it just a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna restart my web application and we're gonna go over to the Swagger tooling and see it air out, hopefully, roughly every other time that we call it. Coming back up, Swagger, that's my cart. Here's my pizzas. I'm gonna try it out real quick. Execute. Go down here, and I did. I got a 503, execute 503, and now I got the 200 to come back. So it's airing out roughly every now and then. So we're implementing some transient errors coming back from our web API. And so what I really don't want to have happen then is my web application, you can see right here, has crashed. It tried calling out to my web API, got that 503 and crashed. But if I refresh it, eventually it'll come back up like right here because it actually got the good response coming back. So what I want to have happen, and this is the key, what we're all here to, today to see is to make sure our web app stays up by implementing some kind of retry policy. To try that web, app, web API again, keep on going to that transient error, resolves itself. Okay, back to the code. And so what I want to do then is right here, this get menu method is the one that is responsible for calling out to the pizza service to return the menu. And so the first thing I'm gonna ask is, I'm gonna actually open up GitHub Copilot chat, and I'm just gonna to wanna to say, what's a good.net library for doing retries of HTTP errors? And see what it comes up for me. And it says, when it's done typing everything, poly. So I'm gonna go through and bring in poly for my packages to my web project. Browse through. Hello, poly. You bet. And as it brings it all back in, I'm gonna jump back over to Copilot chat for just a second. And it actually is gonna show me something pretty neat in that it shows me how to implement. It knows what I wanna try or wait and retry async. It's already guessing by where my code is and what it, what, what it thinks I want to do. 
but I'm going to save here and then I'm going to highlight the code. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say, Hey, as copilot, how can I retry this code when an HTTP error occurs? Copilot thinks about it and then gives me a way to do it. So I don't like the way that it just gave me to do it. I want to actually use Poly to do it. So one of these things about when you're using Copilot or Copilot Chat is that you want to trust, but verify the code that it brings back. And so what it has here, let me open it up just a little bit more, is that if it fails three times, you know, go back, you know, while retries less than three, I want to use Polly. I want Polly to do all the work for me. I don't want to have to think about it myself. So let's actually do that for us. Let's try it one more time. Right click, ask Copilot. Have Polly, create a Polly policy to retry when HTTP exception occurs. How about that? And let's see what Copilot comes up with this time. Make this a little bit larger so we can see what's going on. And then I'll scroll up because I want to get the menu. And here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this in. Copy, comment out what I had. And then put the new one in. Make sure I actually copy it from the Copilot chat. Copy and paste is very hard for me. Let's see if I can get it now. Control C. Control V. And here we go. And so what it's saying, you know what? We're going to try a wait and retry a sync policy. First time is going to be three seconds. Next time is five. Th one second, three, five seconds, five seconds and then retry it. And it's saying, you know what? All the pizzas, it might be null here. So initially, I'm just going to say new list pizza. So again, trust, but verify. So let's start it up and see if what Copilot gave us worked. There were bill bears. What did I do wrong? New expression. After the type, let's see, line 35, have to do my parentheses. All right, let's go again. Start. Everything spins up. So let's try our swagger tooling out. Try it out. Let's see, we should just be getting 200 values back. Code 200, we should not see a 503 coming back at all, but we, or we should still see the 503 coming back from here because we're calling directly to the web API. Web API is still going to air. What we shouldn't have happen is our web app should be catching those and continuing on, assuming that we don't get three errors in a row. Looks good so far. Let's refresh. Good. Good. So, looks like we fixed it. All right, there we go. So, you've seen now actually a couple good points here. You saw that how we use Copilot and GitHub Copilot chat to introduce, well, we, how we use it to find a random number and then introduce a random error into our code to return a 503 status code. And then how we use Copilot chat to put in the poly NuGet library 
so we can have a retry policy inside of our web code to retry whenever our web API blew up. But the cool thing that you saw is that sometimes Copilot and Copilot chat aren't 100% correct. So you have to trust but verify. And we saw that, oh, what it returned the first time wasn't what we thought it would do. Or was, so we went through, tried it again, and it did give us something that worked better. So trust but verify. Sometimes everything's great. Sometimes you're just on the start of it. So anyways, at the end of the day, we got it working. And so there we have it, making sure our application can call a web API, not fail, even when the web API on us blows up.